Hey you fluffer schnoots. So in this video I want to talk a little bit about Nala. And Nala is a replacement or a, not a replacement, it's an alternative to apt or apt-get or aptitude or whatever you want to use on Debian or Ubuntu systems. It's just another tool that lets you manage your dependencies and apps and stuff like that. It doesn't manage your flat packs or snaps or anything like that. It's just your dev packages. But as you can see, it has a really, really nice, like user-friendly UI. It's still a, a command line tool. There's no like UI to it. So you still have to be familiar with working in a terminal and stuff. But I mean, it's, it's a heck of a lot better than there. There's apt. So there's no colors. It's just like a straight list. If you're used to it, it's not too bad. Like I can read this and I know what's going on. If we do like apt help, it might show the exact same thing. Nala help might actually show the same thing too. Yeah, but as you can see, it's it's quite a bit nicer to the eyes. So Nala is a application management, dependency management tool written in Python. And you can do all your basic stuff like let's search for Steam. So there's Steam, we'll do Nala search maybe Lutris. And one really cool thing about Nala is that it's in the Debian repos. I don't know if it's in Ubuntu's repos. I'm guessing it is, but I guess maybe it's not. But it is in Debian testing repos, so you can install this straight on Debian testing or Debian SID. I don't know if it's in stable, but it's always nice when a tool is in the default repo, so you don't have to install something separate to get it. Now, one of the things that Nala is kind of known for is this thing called Nala fetch and I think I have to run it as sudo maybe not it might ask for the password afterwards but what it's going to do here is it's going to run tests on all these Debian mirrors and it's going to pick the ones that are the fastest and as you can see there's 304 which is a lot of mirrors to test but it goes really fast which is impressive because mint has a tool that is a GUI based tool but it does the same thing but it takes forever to go through each and every mirror and when it's done, it will only pick one of those mirrors, I think. I, to be fair, I could be wrong about that. It's been, a, it's been a hot minute since I've used Mint as like my daily, so maybe they've changed it. But what Nala is doing here is it found all these mirrors, so 16 mirrors that are all pretty fast. There's even one from Japan in here, and, and the score is pretty good. But the thing about it is, by default, it's going to keep all of these. So if, you can change them. You can separate them like by space or comma and maybe only add one, two, or three, four. But the default is to add all of these. So sure, yeah, the mirrors are fine. Now, when we open up this file, you'll see that there are a lot of mirrors. Let's open it with Nano so maybe you can see it better. So there are all these mirrors here. And basically what this is gonna let Nala do is when you go to do an update, so we'll do Nala update, or let's do upgrade first. Nala is going to plug into each and every one of these mirrors and download packages from all of them. So this is fundamentally different from apt where regular apt will plug into one of your mirrors and download all of the packages from that one mirror sequentially or one at a time. Nala is reaching out to all of these mirrors and downloading packages from all of them, or I think the max is three. So it's going to download three different packages from three different mirrors and basically what that does is it makes the, the downloading process go a lot faster. Now this isn't really a silver bullet for keeping your system upgraded because your system can still only install one package at a time. So even if you're downloading packages in bulk at like three at a time, that's a bit faster, sure, but your system can still only install one at a time. So if the download process has to wait until everything is downloaded before it can begin installing, it doesn't actually save that much time or really any time at all. So another issue that I've encountered with Nala, and I, I don't mean to start with the, the bad things about it, it's just the, the, these are the issues I've had with it and they just they pop up first because of, of the workflow of the tool, I guess. But basically what we're doing is we're doing a Nala upgrade and it's going through each and every one of those mirrors you just saw and updating it. So we have to sit here as Nala goes through that sources file and updates the metadata for each before it will even begin downloading. So it took three minutes and five seconds to fetch almost a gigabyte of metadata for all of those mirrors and we're just sitting here. <laughs> Uh, I think that Nala may have checked out to lunch, actually. We've been sitting here for 
almost two minutes and we're just stuck. So I'm not, I, I, you know, I'd normally cut this out of the video, but it's, I don't know, kind of interesting that the tool just appears to have died. So I'm going to have to cancel it. I don't really know what it was doing. So let's, let's clean this up and run apt update. And you can see that apt has to do the same thing because these mirrors are listed in the source file. Apt is going to have to reach out and connect to all of these. And if some of these time out, like it looks like this one might, I'm just going to have to sit here at the terminal. Okay. So what I think is actually happening behind the scenes here is some of these mirrors are timing out and apt, not the user land tool, but like the library doesn't appear to know how to handle this gracefully. So we're just stuck waiting for that mirror to return and it, it stopped up Nala and it appears to be stopping up apt as well. So we're going to roll our sleeves up and go ahead and comment or maybe even remove some of these, to be honest, like let's find one that is like Berkeley is pretty close to me. So let's, let's get rid of all of these and leave the Berkeley one. And now we'll do Nala update. Okay, so it grabbed those three. So here are the base ones that I added, and then here's the Berkeley mirror, but it's hanging again. Like we're not waiting for anything. So I'm not exactly, there we go. Okay, so it came through, 14 packages can be upgraded. So this was completely unexpected and unintentional. I guess it kind of highlights the, the issue that I've had with Nala, with those sources and Nala fetch. I would say Nala is a really good tool and I enjoy using it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to run Nala upgrade and you'll see how, how cool this tool is, but I would not use Nala fetch. Or if you do use Nala fetch, just pick like one, maybe two or tops five mirrors to, to choose from and don't, don't pick the whole list. And I would actually recommend as a default because Nala can only download three at a time, maybe only add four mirrors because it added like what, 16? So if it can only download three at a time and it adds 16 and it has to refresh all 16 each time you do an update, eh, not the most efficient process. So there we go. Nala upgrade is finished. Um, is there anything else I want to show you? Ah, yeah. So another feature that Nala has is Nala history and it helps if you spell it right. So this tells you all of the Nala stuff that you've done. So we've done Nala upgrade. It upgraded these uh, G pluses in here. A weird thing about this, this list is that it doesn't resize on its own. See? So like th these ellipses, there's something else there, but I, I'll never be able to see what it is. I have to like expand it, clear it, and then run that command again. And even then, like, I don't know what eight is. You can probably like tell it to show exactly what the command is. And it looks like the help is a user manual. Which is cool. Like I like that man, man pages are fun, but it's kind of, so if we do like update, will it show a man page? Okay. So it looks like the help commands are man pages, but the actual CLI help isn't, but I mean, that's fine. It also has shell. Whoa. It also has shell completions, but let's try out Nala show Lutris. See what that looks like. So this is like a colorful version here. Let's do this. You can, We'll, we'll put these commands side by side. apt show Lutris and Nala show Lutris. So Nala adds a bit of color, like to the version, to the maintainer and things. And it also breaks up the dependency list into a, a format that's a bit easier to read. So that's pretty cool. If we do like Nala search, I should have done this at the very beginning, huh? We'll do Nala search steam. Nala or apt search scheme. So the type of search it's doing is quite a bit different. This is searching for steam and it's finding steam devices, but not steam itself. Oh dear. All right. What if we look for Nala search Ruby dev that should pull back a bunch of interesting stuff. Ruby dev. So again, the, the list is different, but it did pull Ruby dev, which is the exact, the exact package name that I'm looking for. All right, now let's do sudo apt update and see what apt does while well, that's doing its thing. If I can type, I'll do sudo nala update. 
So this just tells us that our three mirrors were hit. We read the packages and everything is up to date. We'll do Nala update and it says basically the same thing in a much prettier format. So let's actually, let's clean this up so that we can get a better side by side. There you go. I guess you could say that apt is a bit more verbose. There's more lines. There's one more line on the apt side. Not that that matters that much. So we'll do sudo Nala upgrade. See what it finds. Pseudo apt upgrade. And same sort of thing. It's interesting that a Nala upgrade returns the same information as an update, but the upgrade says that there are zero packages to upgrade, install, so on and so forth. So now let's take a look at Discover and see if there are any updates that were missed or left behind. I like to use Discover for managing my applications and things, but I found it interesting that Discover always seems to find more stuff than apt or Nala does. So there's like Mesa upgrades and stuff like that. But I'm not sure if this is maybe just old metadata that Discover has cached. Like two gigabytes is a lot of data. And I mean, granted, a pretty fair amount of it is coming from Flatpak, but like this is a lot of stuff to miss. So maybe if we refresh, will it find, maybe it'll figure out that this stuff, yeah, so this stuff is left behind and neither neither CLI package manager could find it. I wonder if it's a dist, up, dist upgrade. Maybe? No, it's not. So I... <laughs> I'd be interested in any of you, like, where is this coming from? Why does Discover think that these, like, it seems convinced that these packages need upgrading, but neither Nala or Apt can find them. I don't know what that's about. But this seems like a good place to leave it. I've been holding off on updates on Debian testing for, like, half a week, so I'm happy to finally update my system for this video. Guess we'll see if anything, anything bad happens, huh? I hope that you liked the video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll come up with a new outro at some point. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching. Oh, what? Aborted due to failure. Uh-oh. Oh, these are flat hubs. Flat hub errors. Eh, all right. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone.